How we doing today? Uh, we're going to be doing a little video from uh, Zample Box. Okay, what we got today, I'm going to take off my EVOD coil. We've got their 510 dripping atomizer. Uh, I can't tell you if it's bridgeless or not. There's just three little holes there, as you can see. And the juice kind of just sinks right in there. Uh, it screws on. Kind of rough. Real tight. I don't think that's on there right. It's kind of a pain in the ass to get on there for some reason. We got sample box alpha. So that's going to be the first juice that we're going to we're going to do a juice slash um, juice slash uh, atomizer review. So this is alpha heist. What you want to do is you want to put in three drops to use their atomizer. Most drip tips will work. There's that one. Got the skull head. Looks pretty cool on there with my Vamo. And just to show you that various drip tips do fit on there quite snugly and snugly. Ah, oh, it sounds cute. It sounds like a like snuggle dryer sheets or something. All right, so it uh, doesn't take a lot to entertain me. We're gonna set it down to 3.7. That's nice vape. That's a uh, real nice vape. It's a much richer taste than on the Evod. I'm using a Pro Tank Mini 2, Tank 2, an Evod, a Pro Tank that's decided that it's not going to work anymore no matter what coils I put in. It just clogs up right away and tastes awful. There, it doesn't give you any taste. But anyway, this atomizer is really hard to screw on there and it wants to wobble on you. So be careful you don't strip out your threads, because when things wobble like that, they will strip out your inner threads, and then there goes your mod, or your ego twist. So uh, you kind of want to get it on there real tight, uh, is what I've noticed. Uh, usually you just want to snug stuff up, I hear you. But this one, kind of, I get on there tight, and then I just adjust a little tiny bit. Um... Nice cloud of vapor just pummeling all over my table. It's uh, mushrooming. This heist could uh, be considered an all-day vape. It's that good. Um, it's not like uh, eggnog from uh, Viper Vape. But it is good in its own right. It's got a fruity taste to it. And uh, it's doable. It's uh, for a sample box for the price. Uh, it's a doable. It comes with a glass bottle, which is really pretty, and the dripper. These will be used again for sure. I'll be saving my glass bottles. starting to burn time for a new juice so you get about three four good drags off of three four uh, hits then I got a uh, mixed berry by 503 I've been calling it 505 nobody called me on it but most people don't say much on my videos I kinda just spit the facts and try not to be too biased either negative or positive or I don't throw a lot of different crap in my videos that gets people started. Uh, we're going to use Skullhead on this one, see how that does. So that's the 503 
mixed berry with the 510 atomizer from uh, Zample Box. It's kind of mixed in with that heist, but I can definitely taste the berry taste. Uh, this is also a very good vape. Uh, I'm not complaining about the 503. I think uh, most of the bottles I got in my sample box this month were really good, except for the cream, which of course was a 30 milliliter bottle, but uh, I'll find a way to vape that. I might add some menthol to it. I don't vape menthol, but if I got a juice that sucks, I put some menthol and it gives it a minty taste. Just a drop or two and off I go. That's a good vapor too. What I'm noticing is I put three drops in because that's what's recommended. This thing's kind of rubbery. It's like uh, the Egos that have that rubber coating on them. So it's kind of nice to feel. It's real smooth and... Uh, the white doesn't seem to stain up or show any kinds of signs of scratches. Uh, it's a real small drip anatomizer. You can do without the tip. But as Tony said, you might get some splatter in your mouth. I haven't. Uh, but I only do three drops. What I notice is when you get that burnt taste, you almost got to grin and bear through it and do another drag or two to get it down there before you add your next three drops. Otherwise, you kind of flood the thing like I just did uh, when I took my first drag off the 503 uh, mixed berry. Real good vapor production off this. Uh, good taste cost me nine dollars you're almost better off buying two of them since I'm telling you that they work and uh, that way you're only paying shipping on on two instead of one which brings the price to nine dollars it's nine dollars for one of them uh, with the shipping so with two I think it would be about 12 13 14 9 plus 5 uh, 14 dollars so you're almost getting one for half price. Don't quote me on that. Now it's starting to taste burnt. So would we get three, four hits? And you can keep dragging. Uh, the hits you lost, I lose the flavor now. And I'm just getting vapor. But I think I almost have to do that to clear out that chamber. Okay, we're only going to do three juices. So uh, this one's puff and stuff, or puff, puff and juice. And uh, this one I think they recommend to shake up real well. This one is okay. The nice thing about this atomizer is when you get your sample box you're able to uh, hit off of a whole bunch of different juices after taking three four three drags of good drags with three drops and then two of them with crappy taste burnt taste uh, to clear out that atomizer then you add your next three drops and you're able to get the taste of the next juice right away otherwise it kind of mixes in and you get that gurgle and the first hit is kind of like just gurgly so uh, that's how I've been doing it, and it seems to work out. Check out that skull head. Skull heads from Aqua Vapor. Let's turn it up to four point one. Good vapor production off of all these juices. This is the puff, puff and on the side of the thing they give you 50% off. Don't know if you can see that. 
down here there's a 50% off coupon for uh, Puff, Puff You Premium Juices. Uh, you go to PuffU.com and there's a 50% code word on the bottom. I'm not going to tell you it though. Join Zample Box. You want these special offers. Uh, get the different juices. Uh, they didn't send much in sheets this month. And the bag is different. It's a see-through bag that's really cheesy and cheap. But uh, I'll save it. I'll find a purpose for it. Uh, maybe I'll find some flowers this year and put some flowers in there and make a little potpourri bag. Okay, let's keep this video short. Good vapor off the puff juice. Uh, it's not as good as the heist is the best so far. 503 uh, mixed berry is uh, second best. And puff is pretty good. I can't place the taste, but I don't know what the ohm is on this uh, atomizer. So uh, I don't really want to go too high. But I, I found keeping it 3.7 to 4.1. If it's gurgling, I go to 4.1, which it seems to right at the beginning with the three drops. Except for on the heist, it had overnight to dry out, and that was a good, good hit on the first hit. Don't know about that skull head. Good drag but burnt taste, so gurgle, two good hits, and then burnt taste is what I got. So uh, if you're looking for a decent dripping atomizer that's uh, not quite as spendy as, uh, what is it, the 507s or what are those ridiculously priced dripping atomizers out there, uh, 537 or whatever they are, uh, I can't see spending those kind of bucks, $20 on a dripping atomizer. I asked them, uh, Tony, one of Tony's guys, he said I should get about a month out of this atomizer using it daily. Uh, so that's not too bad, $10 for a month. Uh, maybe I'll do an update and let people know, or I'll type in here somewhere along the screen to let you know how long it lasted. But uh, usually you get the first two, three hits that are pretty good off of three drops, and then you start getting burnt taste, and you got the choice. Do you want to burn off the residue so you get a good next hit when you add the drops, or do you want to just add to it? Maybe a drop or two is where I should go. I'm fairly new to dripping, so... Uh, leave comments, subscribe, uh, like, hate, whatever. Uh, throw some opinions in there. I'm, I never say that stuff, or rarely ever do, but trying to get some more uh, viewers on on this and trying to get some more subscribers. I do products uh, around the home, and I do uh, e-cigarette reviews. I've cut back on the e-cigarette reviews because I'm playing catch-up on bills, and I just don't have the money to lay out. I had to cancel my example box subscription after the first box uh, just for a month or two I want to get these credit cards caught back up from Christmas so uh, if I'm lacking on reviews this month uh, bear with me there will be more stuff coming up in a month or two and if you want Xbox game reviews without the videos to go along with the Xbox I've got a bunch of Xbox games I just bought Warhammer 40,000 and uh, Resident Evil 6 uh, check out my uh, review on Forza Horizon and if you like that uh, just getting ideas of what the game's like who it's gendered toward uh, what the gameplay is like what the graphics are like uh, what the save mo or options are let me know and I'll do more uh, Xbox videos I've got tons of movies uh, and if you want movies let me know I'll get some movie reviews out there I got all the original Spider-Mans uh, Resident Evils uh, uh, die hards, uh, stuff that we already know about, but maybe we can start conversation forum type stuff going on. So, one more hit. Uh, like I said, it's tasting burnt now on the third drag and uh, gurgled on the first one. I only got one real good drag off this puff and stuff. That's a good hit. It had time to soak in. another good hit all right well I won't take up any more of your time this is a sample box or this is a sample 
uh, dripping atomizer and I'm really enjoying it. I'm finding it uh, comes in handy. It's real tight to screw down but once you get it situated there and you get the voltage you like and you get some good hits you'll be happy with it. So uh, it's not a rip off uh, but you may want to buy two to get that shipping price so you're not paying nine dollars for one. Don't quote me on that price I can't remember. I just know it was nine dollars for one atomizer. Uh, with shipping so I'm guessing that if you bought two you would save a lot of money because you're paying that four dollars or so for shipping or three dollars or whatever it costs so all right thanks a lot vape friends and uh, consumers alike I'm all itchy today for some reason I don't know <laughs> you all have a great day thanks a lot <laughs>